When you see a question that says someone has taken the following notes right here and then it gives you a bunch of notes and after that it says which choice most effectively uses relative and in relevant information from the notes to accomplish this goal you do not read the notes you will not read the notes at all the only thing you need to do is look at what it wants from you that's it let's take a look at an example so first of all we will not read the notes as we said after that we will only look at what it wants from us the student wants to specify who may have first popul populated the Azores according to the 2015 study so let's read choice A Historians have long believed that the first humans to populate the Azores, a group of islands about 870 miles off the coast of Portugal, arrived in the 15th century. So this is definitely wrong, since it says uh, who may have first populated the Azores. And in here it says when. So in here it says when. We want the who. Alright. Let's take a look at choice B. Portuguese mariners may, may not have been the first humans to populate the Azores. We want to know who may have first populated the Azores, not who may not have. So this is wrong as well. Alright, C. In their 2015 study, the researchers found a genetic connection between house mice in the Azores and those in Scandinavia. So this is completely off topic since we just want to see who may have first populated the Azores. Alright, let's see D. According to a 2015 study, the first humans to populate the Azores may have been Vikings from Scandinavia. So this is exactly what we want. It says who may have first populated the Azores, which is the first humans uh, to populate the Azores may have been Vikings from Scandinavia. That's all we needed. So now, uh, let's look at another one. So first of all, we'll cancel the notes. We'll not look at them. And then we'll read what they want from us. The student wants to describe the distinctive style of Hauser sculptures. All right, so let's see. It says we need, it needs to describe the distinctive style of Hauser sculptures. So let's look at choice A. It says a sculptor, illustrator, and painter, Hauser developed a distinctive style for portraying Native American figures. So this one is wrong since it just explains who Hauser is and not his distinctive style. So it says sculptor, illustrator, and painter, which describes Hauser, but does not describe the distinctive style. All right, so A is wrong. Let's look at choice B. Hauser sculptures employ ab abstract modernist forms to depict Native American figures. So this could be correct since we have uh, here, it describes the distinctive style. So let's see. Hauser sculpture employ abstract modernist forms to depict Native American figures. So it shows his distinctive style. So this could be correct. Let's look at the other choices. Many other artists have been influenced by the style of Hauser sculptures. This is wrong since it says it wants to see uh, the distinctive style, not who it influenced. Choice D. The sculpture's uh, sacred rain arrow is a well-known example of Hauser style. So it doesn't say give an example, it doesn't say give an example, it says describe it. So this is also wrong and the correct answer is choice B. Alright, this other example we need to look at. So we will cancel the notes as usual and then we will highlight the, what it wants from us. The student wants to explain how the House of Wisdom preserved the world's knowledge. So, 
we need to see how the house of wisdom preserved the world's knowledge all right let's look at a the house of wisdom was known for bringing together knowledge from around the world including from greece india and china this is wrong since it says the house of wisdom was known for bringing together it did not say what it was known for it asks for you to see how the house of wisdom preserved the world's knowledge so this is wrong now let's look at choice b founded in uh, founded in iraq founded in iraq in the 8th century the house of wisdom employed many scholars as translators this is also wrong since we just want to see how the house of wisdom was preserved not anything else so let's cancel that out and now let's look at choice c writings from greek philosopher aristotle and the indian mathematician aryabhata were preserved at the house of wisdom all right so this is also wrong since it doesn't say how it was preserved it just says it was preser preserved so let's cancel that out as well and then finally we're left with choice d the house of wisdom collected writings from different countries and created paper versions in arabic to be studied and shared so this is correct why because it says the house of wisdom collected writings so it collected writings and it created paper versions in arabic to be studied and shared so it preserved all of the world's knowledge and uh, this is the correct answer because it does not say when it does not say why it does not say anything else it just says how it was preserved all right last one so we'll cancel the notes let's look at what they want from us the student wants to present the primary aim of the research study all right so i know this says it wants to uh, present the primary aim of the research study and you might think don't you need to see the notes for that no you don't so uh, let's like let's look at the notes here it says Bossel's team wanted to better understand the mechanics behind bird nests uniquely flexible yet cohesive structural properties so uh, this choice may be correct so the reason is it says the student wants to present the primary aim of the research study so this shows Bossel's team wanted to better understand the mechanics behind birds nest so the aim was to uh, better understand the mechanics so let's look at the other choices as well so we can see the researchers the researchers used laboratory models that simulated the arrangement of flexible sticks and analyzed the points where sticks touched one another so this shows how the research study was conducted not the aim all right so that's wrong choice c after analyzing the points where sticks touched the researchers found that the structures became stiffer when pressure was applied this shows the conclusion which we don't want then we have choice d as analyzed by ball's team bird nests are uniquely flexible yet cohesive engineered structures so this is also the conclusion and the finding like the previous one so this is also the finding so we're only left with we're only left with choice a which is correct